Okay, shalom, shalom. Kwame Asha'ala. Kuhulu yuma yahawo bahashim yahawashai bahashim rikha hakudash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say to water toward the Akim and Akwap that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai to the best of their ability. This is Yachanan Nawaf just coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And just some um some articles that I Googled yesterday. I was watching Redacted, and um they was mentioning so many things. I kind of made a list, but I wanted to Google some of these things to see, you know, kind of fact check, so to speak, but you know, just to just get a little bit more in depth to the stories i mean they were explaining things pretty well but i you know just wanted to check it out from a google standpoint so this was one of the first ones uh and it the death toll may have gone up um this was hold on let me see here can i refresh this uh okay uh so the death toll is going up to the hurricane helen or helene um and it's crazy that they're not putting any I, I get, um, you know, I am guess they've given money, you know what I'm saying? They've sent out some help, you know what I'm saying? You know, they've FEMA a little shit like that, but um, there were some complaints of America sending all this money to these, you know, other countries like Ukraine and, you know, Taiwan and Israel, of course, you know what I'm saying? And they're not taking care of the people that, you know, at home, so to speak. So the death toll looking like uh, as of yet is up to 130 um and I just seen another article too. It was an article, let me see, Salakia. Be going to the Apple News. It was something that I seen. It was about a let me see here. Oh, right here. In wire. It says, um, Hurricane Helene will send shockwaves through the semiconductor industry. And I didn't I had no idea that. They were actually, um, you know, pulling these particular minerals or, um, you know, or resources to, you know, build microchips right there in um, North Carolina. It's uh, Spruce Pine. North Carolina have taken the biggest known deposit of high purity quartz offline, leaving the global tech supply chain potentially starved of an ingredient vital for making microchips. <laughs> so, hey, I mean, hey. That that MOTB, the market of beauty and the beast, Revelation thirteen sixteen. That's all on the Lord's timing, man. That's all on the Lord's timing. You never can tell. You know what I'm saying? They may be trying to rush something that the Lord don't want um happening as of yet. You know, but but it's gonna happen. You know, scriptures talks about though it Terry wait for it. So, you know, Esau he be trying to force the hand, but you know, all things are prophetic and they're done at the timing of the lord yeah how about shimmy on side you can't force nothing that he doesn't want done man so let's go back off into um a couple of more of these headlines yeah i mean hey this is it i mean this is tragic but i also seen a video yesterday um with um elder yashawamba where he had some tiktoks lined up where you know people was talking about um well so-called black people was talking about these places that's being flooded out are sundown towns or a lot of them are sundown towns and what what a sundown town is is it's one of those towns that back in the days and it's still like that to this day you know they just don't talk about it as much but it's one of those cities or towns where it's basically all so-called white people and back back you know decades back if you got caught in one of those towns after dark you you know you was pretty much being lynched man that's that's just bottom line and, and also, you know, um, Esau has been reaping what they've sown. Let's get um because when it straight comes down to it, think about all all the all the cities that Esau, the so-called white man, flooded out. He flooded a lot of so-called black cities and turned them into lakes. When you see these people jet skiing in some places and they got you know be doing those Trump boat parades and shit, you know what I'm saying? A lot of those, you know, those be cities that's underground. That is that that that's scriptural, man. You see what I'm saying? Esau got a lot of blood on his hands, man. So let's get this Galatians 6 and 7. Get it from the KJV. It says, Be not deceived. Yahweh was not mocked for whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Let's see. Uh, let's check out this. Let's see. 
Yeah, pretty much all these translations um, read the same, but, you know, you reap what you sow. They have a saying here where they, you know, they say they may say um, what goes up must come down, what goes around comes around. They call it karma. But this is what's happening to America. And you got this doc shit, you know what I'm saying? I mean, there's so many things that's happening in this place, man. Let's get uh, Job 34 and 29 to prove that the Lord, he deals with these nations, man. Job 34 and 29, when he giveth quietness, who then can make trouble? And when he hideth his face, who then can behold him, whether it be done against a nation or against a man only? See, if the Lord is, you know, you can't do nothing other than what the Lord wants you to do. If he hides his face, it's a wrap. <laughs> you know, you can't just go before the king. You know what I'm saying? That's that's any, any regular kingdom. You can't even just um, go before a uh, 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 simple ass Joe Biden, man. Anyway, let's go back to these articles. Let's see here what else we had. And again, like I said, this was uh, yesterday. So, so let's go to uh, let's come out of here and go to the next one. Uh, yeah, and this right here was kind of crazy too because it was damn caskets, uh, caskets uh, floating in the damn flood, man. Right. It says, um, rescuers in Tennessee found caskets floating in debris, in debris during flooding from the Nolachaki River. Never even heard of that shit before. The casket was discovered as a result of Hurricane Helena, which caused flooding in the area. Now, I'm not sure if it broke up the ground and just, you know, took some damn graves up out of there. You know, and just, I mean, you know, um, because it, it broke up bridges and a lot of shit, man. You know, so the Lord really done a number on this place, man. You know what I'm saying? And we know that the Lord is in control of storms. He's in control of, you know, he'll send out those spirits of vengeance, man. Matter of fact, let's get that spirits of vengeance on the asses, man. And again, man, they just reaping what they've sown. And it's going to get a lot worse here, too. A lot of people don't don't really um, realize exactly what's coming. People just get up, man. And really, it's crazy that people get up. And, and don't realize what the fuck is going on like it's so much serious stuff going on but people just go about their day man they, they have no idea <laughs> so it's, so when it when when disaster really strikes and hits them it's just going to catch them all off guard man like a thief in the night but this is Sirach, chapter 39 verse 28 start there it says there be spirits that are created for vengeance which in their fury lay on sore strokes in the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. So these spirits were, you know, were in control of that storm and, and directed it at, at every single town, city, wherever it needed to go. They directed it at, exactly at those places with precision, man. It says fire and hell and famine and death. All these were created for vengeance. So you can clearly see that the Lord can use elements. He can use weather as vengeance man what did he, he he done that with um the egyptians and this is um modern day spiritual egypt man all those plagues that happened in egypt when the children of israel were, were there and, and and aaron and moses went in telling um pharaoh to let my people go telling them that hey the lord said let my people go man and the lord hardened their hearts and that's the same thing that's happening um in these americas man babylon the great but this is spiritual egypt all over again and it's being plagued man right teeth of wild beasts and scorpions serpents and the sword punishing the wicked to destruction man and esau is gonna get what he's gonna get man there ain't no stopping it or turning it back he ain't about to build shit back better and you ain't about to make nothing great again they shall rejoice in this commandment and they shall be ready upon earth when need is yeah see the u.s is saying what was that article just popped up they shall rejoice in his commandment and they shall be ready upon earth when need is. And when their time has come, they shall not transgress his word. See, so when it's time for these these spirits of vengeance to get down, they're not going to be like, oh, well, Lord, well, you know, uh, you really want us to, uh, you know, uh, kill a hundred and some change people or 200 people or because there's still people missing. It's like I think they said like six or seven hundred, you know, five to five hundred to a thousand people are missing. They haven't even found these people yet. You know what I'm saying? So once the, the, the water 
uh, you know, goes down and, and, and they move some of the trees, you know, they're going to be finding bodies all over the place, man. They, they saying that this is pretty much, a, 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 you know, like um, Hurricane Katrina. But guess what? When Hurricane Katrina went down, they didn't look out for Jake like that, man. Jake was down there in them football field, man, and just hey, a lot was going on with Jake, man. They was getting shot at and shit. You know, you had a, a, a lot of robberies. They was breaking into the home. The police was acting a goddamn fool. And that was when um, Kanye West said George Bush don't care about black people. I remember the seeing that shit because they had like a telethon. They was, uh, you know, I'm trying to think them was the days before GoFundMe or something, whatever. But man, yeah, man, uh, they, they wasn't looking out for Jake like that, man. A lot of Jake got displaced, man. Never went back there. So here you go. Sundown towns is being ravaged by these these storms, man. Okay, but anyway, let's go back. Let's see. And again, it was something else that just popped up. What was that? Yeah, man. It's about to get grimy out here. Let's see. Uh, I'm not some shit on Iran. You know, they these people don't they, they 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 can't chill, man. There's so much shit going on. Wars, rumors of wars. See, here's that massive um, massive port strike begins on East Coast, threatening shortages and rising prices. Yeah, man, it's about to get grimy. And, and, and your boy Joe Biden, he got the power to stop the shit, and he didn't. He said he wasn't going to get involved with it. <laughs> so these are the people that y'all about to go out here and vote for, man. You going to vote for some people that have the power to stop your food from going up, your your you know fucking hyperinflation, and they won't even do it. You, but y'all about to go vote for these people, man. Y'all about to see what's popping. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you goddamn Democrats. Y'all about to see what's popping, man. Anyway, let's go to this next article. Let me see what else we had in here. Uh, let's see what was this one. Oh, Hillary Clinton with the misinformation. Hey, she's talking about throwing motherfuckers in jail. Hillary Clinton suggests throwing Americans in jail for, you know, pretty much your opinion. Yeah, she don't want that. She don't want that. Yeah, nothing to do. She says um, she discusses civil or criminal penalties for spreading our misinformation. And if you haven't seen that, you can you can go into that. That's um, you can get that on YouTube. And yeah, she's she's let me see. boosting Trump oh, back in 2016. But I also think there are Americans who are. Uh, engaged in uh, this kind of propaganda uh, and whether they should be civilly or even in some cases criminally charged uh, is something that would be a better deterrence because see so oh that was that video I was watching yesterday too this is the video right here man where hey, Jake and them was going in man about them sundown towns man this guy right here was going in he was going all the way in. Yeah, this is a video from um, Remnant Say 144. Um, uh, Elder Yashua out in Dallas. And this guy was like, hey, look, man. Hey, all the shit, dirty shit that y'all been doing. Y'all, you know, he was going off into them sundown towns and how they, you know, they, you know, they pretty much, they they flooded out cities and turned them into lakes and shit. Uh, hey, a lot of these, these lakes, I'm telling you, they're man-made. Matter of fact, let's see. Let's just bring up another tab in this bad boy. We might as well get some stuff. It's one of them days, man. Of course, they're going to give you this goddamn ditty shit over and over again. We ain't even concerned with that. Y'all better, better get away from that. Um, um, all that silly shit. Y'all better realize what's happening in the backdrop. Um, let's just put in um, black towns turn into lakes. Let's see what pops up. And all of a sudden, your shit flooded. See, the Lord, and what that guy was talking about, too, he's like, man, we don't have to, we don't have the means to do anything about what y'all doing, what y'all have done to us. But guess what? The Lord has the means. We don't have to do anything. And I, that was a profound statement that he mentioned. Because the Lord is handling it. The Lord is going to handle this thing. See, here you go right here. Yep. Five black American towns hidden under lakes and ultimately from history. Yep. 
evil history of flooding black town see esau got a lot to pay for it, man let me see this is a little short right here maybe uh yeah man hey hey, hey. this man is is vicious bro that's why the scripture says to never trust him oh shit i don't want to do all that when we go off into i don't want to go through the tiktok situation but you get it man you can go and um and um check out some of these shorts man let me see though yeah man hey, hey this is real another one tiktok in it anyway we don't have to go into it but hey you can you know the, the proof is there this is their history man and the lord requires that past man in fact let me see if i can let's get that and that guy was like, man, we don't have no remorse for you. We don't have no sympathy for you in losing your shit. We don't have no, no sympathy for uh, uh, your towns being flooded out. And we don't. Or at least from my end. I don't give a fuck. I mean, it is what it is. Uh, because you, 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 what are you going to do? You don't want to be speaking against the Lord's judgment. What is that up? Yup, Ecclesiastes. 3 of 15, that which hath been is now, and that which is to be hath already been, and Yahweh requireth that which is past. So the Lord is requiring that past of you guys, you 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 damn Edomites, man. All that damn wickedness y'all done. You're not getting away with that shit, man. Well, let's see, where were we at, though? Yep, Hillary Clinton wanted people, she wants people to go to jail. Because, hey, they lose, they, 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 they've lost control of the, of the narrative. They can't control... What's what's going? That internet is just too vast for him, man. It's too. It's billions of people on that shit, just typing away, videos, 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 all showing Esau Edom to be the so you know to to be the wicked that he is, man. He's being exposed, and that's that Second um, Thessalonians. In fact, let's get that real quick. Second Thessalonians two, in verse three, because that's an end day prophecy that this man will have to be revealed. says let no man deceive you by any means for that day shall not come what day the day of the lord the, the day of the lord can't can't come except there come a falling away first so first off we've gone through this part of the um prophecy already that the so-called blacks hispanics and native americans they fell away from their heritage long long back man when 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 you know the temple was sacked 70 a.d same people so-called white people them damn romans you know, Jake ran into a lot of different places in Africa, and then they, they they eventually found us and swooped up on our asses again. And we now here we are here in the Americas. So we fell away from our heritage. We don't need a lot of our people. We don't know who you know now, as this the prophecies of the last days of us being awakened. A lot of Jake are finding out. Hey, we're Israelites. We're not blacks. We're not um African Americans. We're not Hispanics. Native you know Native Americans. We are Israelites. We're not Haitians. We're not Cubans. We're not Dominicans. See, that's the, that's what they really want to do is stop this truth from going out because it's too many of our people waking up on them too goddamn quick and they can't handle it. Right. So that part of the prophecy is already passed. But this part is playing out now. And that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, the man of lawlessness, man. That's Esau. Esau, the so-called white man, he became the progenitor of the white race. That's who they are, man. You can't get around it. And it's starting to be shown because all the all the pieces to the puzzle are being put together. There's too many precepts in the Bible to show who they are. Too, they, too many traits. They came out red for one, like the scripture says, because they're not um, running around here looking like a damn glass of milk. They're not looking like no clouds in the sky with that, that um, white shit. They're actually red. Pinkish to reddish in color. That's their color. And then the scripture says that he's a cunning hunter. Nobody's out hunting this man. He hunts people. He hunts lions. He hunts tigers and bears. He hunts information. He hunts. He, I don't give a shit. What he's he's the greatest hunter ever. This motherfucker getting some camouflage, man, and standing in some woods for for a month just for one kill. Doing reconnaissance. He's he's expert at that. That's another thing. That's another trait of his. Another one of his traits is he's you know, um, he was blessed with the sword. No one's a better weapon maker than this man, man. No one makes master uh, weapons of mass destruction like this man. Are you serious? So all the traits are there, man. We we see who he is. 
And it's coming out more and more who he is. And, and people got to know. Because people see that they're, they're the problem of the earth. The mainly this, these American ones, Babylonian, the, the uh, Babylonian great here. But it's them all over the world, wherever the fuck they are. It's, I just seen a story earlier, a damn um, so-called white farmer over in Africa or whatever. You know what I'm saying? He ran over a little boy and shit because the little boy was uh, picked up um, two oranges off the ground. From basically from his tree. This, this cruel motherfucker, he jumped into his car. They got his ass over there in court. I just seen that. You know? So wherever Esau's at, man, he's destructive as hell. He feels like he, he's entitled to own every goddamn thing on the planet. And, and matter of fact, though, the scripture says that um, he will be given the fatness of the earth. So he's all over the place. He's the one running the planet. So we know that, that it's him. Let's go back, though. Yeah, that's Job 9 and 24. Okay. Um, oh, this was one going off into uh, they were talking about the migrants as far as. Um, uh, a food food shortages so they were like with this doc shit you know if you've been paying attention with the dock worker thing what you know they just um went on strike today right let me see so they went on strike today right but they were talking about all the migrants that were here that you know that that's here they're getting all them free you know getting all the free um money they're getting them you know um housing and hotels and cars and whatever the hell else they getting so now they're talking about if those things shut down, what are these people going to do? You know, like, well, how, you know, are they going to turn into complete savages and start to see you're living in some very, very cruel times, man. People are about to, um, matter of fact, let's go into second address real quick. Things are about to get real wicked out here, man. The Lord is about to send um, um, the number one plagues on this place. What is it? Uh. Let me let me go back one. Let me just start at verse 14. It says, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. And that word woe goes into um, destruction. For the sword and their destruction draw up nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. And that sword is the modern day gun. For there shall be sedition among men. And invading one another, they shall not regard their kings nor princes. And the courses of their action shall stand in their power. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. That's coming too. For, be, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation and that's what's coming see that very neighbor the neighbors that you've been knowing forever 30 40 years you know your kids went to school together you know they celebrated each other's birthday parties and bullshit like that y'all have sat down at barbecues y'all have gone to funerals together you know and all kinds of shit those very people are going to come up against you so imagine what the, the immigrants are going to do. They're already out here talking about, <laughs> talking about the Haitians eating your pets, man. You know, so hey, things are about to get grimy, grimy out here, man. Let me see what else I got. I didn't have too much more. Uh, I don't think that was one. Let me see here. Let's see what this one is. Oh, the cell phone outages. I forgot about that yesterday. People was having. I'm not sure what's going on with it today. Let's see here. Uh, it says okay Verizon cell phone service restored after outages that impacted Columbus I know um, one of um, one of my neighbors or whatever they got this shit they was having problems with their phone cause I had text them and then I'm like that motherfucker ain't even hit me back you know what I'm saying yeah let me see what's up so I gave a call and as I was on the phone with him, I was on the phone with him for, for, for quite some time, a little, little couple of minutes or whatever. And then all of a sudden the text came through. And it's like, damn, you, you know, I didn't know you text me. The text just came through. I'm like, yeah, so, you, hey, you know, little shit like this here. It's been too many of these going on to these outages as far as like these cell phones and shit. So it's just something to keep, um, you know, to look out for. Let's get um, Ciroc. chapter 5 verse 15 
and it says be not ignorant of anything in a great matter or a small so we're to um be circumspect you know the scripture talks about um uh, uh you know watching you know watching and praying we're, we're to watch and pray you know so we're not to be ignorant of any matters man you know all these little things that's going on we need to be uh, uh reporting on this shit and 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 um warning the flock warning the people let me see oh elon musk um he was talking about what was he talking about uh Well, I think he was saying something to the extent that if you don't vote for Trump, let me see. He says, yeah, if Trump is not elected, there will be this will be the last election. See, now, why would he say something like that? We just went off into um, a, a sedition among men. The Egyptian is about to be put against the Egyptian, man. <laughs> hey, people about to be getting down out here because really in reality i mean when you really think about it man a hey, if kamala or if there's another attempt on trump's life man or kamala you know what i'm saying because who knows man i think it's about 40 days for, from this election man it might not even be no damn election and if kamala wins of course you know these people are gonna straight flat out civil war it out man these people are gonna tear this bitch up they they, they they they're not gonna um go for another uh four years of a, of a biden or Obama administration, because really that's all it is. It's really Obama. You know, a, a Joe Biden has done nothing but come off in there, and he's finished up with um, what what Obama fucked up. You know what I'm saying to begin with. So yeah, expect, you know, civil war, man. And this nation is divided as hell. Let's get that in. Um, we just got a couple more. Just probably maybe one more um, story or so precept or so y'all are about to zod we out kjv we'll read it in the kjv and yahweh shai knew their thoughts and said unto them every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation and every city or house divided against itself shall not stand see let's see what's on these other translations Okay, but anyway, yeah, every kingdom divided against itself. Um, let's get that back. And Yahweh Shah knew their thoughts and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. And if Satan casts out Satan, he is divided against himself. How shall then his kingdom stand? See, and in one translation, it talks about civil war, I'm the New Living Translation. Which I don't have that particular one in here. Most of these are kind of reading the same, but yeah, yeah, man. Um, hey, these people are ready to, to uh, pretty much civil war this shit out, man. Just about to get about to get real grimy out here. And that's why we tell our people, you know, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you you need to repent and 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 um, call on Yahweh, which is the true name of the Father, which means He exists or the existing one, and the name of His Son, Yahweh Shai. Which means that he's the savior or deliverer in the Paleo Hebrew. Those are the true names of the Father and Son. Not no damn Jesus, not no damn Jehovah. The letter J was invented in 1524, 500 years ago. There was no no J sound when the Lord walked the earth. When nobody calling no damn Jesus. It was calling him by his real name, the name that Gabriel, the angel Gabriel gave, Yahawashai. Yah meaning he, Hawashai meaning savior or deliverer. And if he was walking the earth today, he would be a Negro. Not no 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 blonde hair, blue eyes. Well, see, these people done a when they they really done a number on the world. That's the reason why you know that Second Thessalonians talked about how he must be revealed, that man of lawlessness. He has pushed white Jesus, the image of that shit, all across the earth, man. They painted the likeness of all the pictures. They know full well that the, the people of the scriptures was dark melanated people, man. So you have to, you know, you have to realize who you're dealing with and, and see they pissed right now because the Lord is really breaking this shit down. So what um, Elon Musk said is, hey, it's, it's some truth to that. He says, if Trump is not elected, this will be the last election, man. 
Yep. So that this is your your boy Elon Musk and all not he didn't entangle himself. He's a part of the uh, you know politics all of a sudden. He's another goddamn Bill Gates. But I think that's pretty much about it as far as like what I had um on some of the subjects and topics that I seen on Redacted. It was uh let me see, it was something else too, but I mean there's so so many things going on. The dock worker shit. Uh, I don't know what this one was. Oh, okay, this was just something that was all right. But anyway, yeah, I'm going to end out there, man. Hey, look. No, let me get one more scripture, though. I did want to get uh, that Romans 13 and 11 and 12. Yeah, man, you're living in some serious times. We're about out of here. Iran is preparing imminent ballistic missile attack against Israel. See, that's that wars, rumors, and wars just popped up. Romans 13 and 11. And that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep for now is our salvation nearer than what we believe. See all these things going on? The Lord spoke of wars, rumors of wars, pestilence, famines, earthquakes in diverse places. Hey, this 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 shipping dock shit, this docking these guys, I think it's like 85,000 um, people going on strike. Them docks make a difference. That could be the very start of, 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 of you know, a full-fledged damn famine. <laughs> you just never know. We'll see how the Lord going to play it out, man. Well, let's get verse 12 as well. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. So you got to put off those works of darkness, put off all the wicked and evil ways. Matter of fact, come out of a, a, a fucking American way of thinking. Stop thinking like your oppressor. The scripture says to um, Proverbs 3 and 31. Says, um, envy thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. You shouldn't be doing anything that these clowns doing. Our main thing to do every day is to just get up, go to work, get our daily bread. You know what I'm saying? Continue on praying. You know, continue on reading and waiting. We're supposed to be waiting on the Lord. This is what we, this, that's your main job, pretty much overall. Getting up, getting your your daily bread, prayer, reading, <laughs> fasting, waiting on the Lord. Repeat, <laughs> repeat, repeat every day. You know what I'm saying? Pray without ceasing, because what you're about the witness is the the Lord is is, is not about to allow. This wicked ass place to stand much longer, man. He's getting the children of Israel together as we speak. Let's get on one more. Micah chapter 2, verse 10. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you even with the sword destruction. This place is polluted as hell. Look how destroyed people are. Look how fucked up people are, man. And and, and 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 when things I'm telling you, man, woo to the woo woo. Motherfuckers are already reckless. What you think is gonna be like when all out chaos hits, man? And it's coming. It, it's it, it's gotta come. It, it's scriptural. It's it, it's scriptural. You can't get around it. Let's see, uh, Baruch. Baruch. 4 and 21 be of good cheer O my children cry unto the lord and he will deliver you from the power and hand of the enemies these people are our enemies man you're running around out here thinking that you fucking americans man you are polluted you are sorely destroyed thinking that bullshit man you're not no american you wouldn't be here to call yourself an american had they not savagely uh, uh kidnapped and brought you here so now that they're falling you want to get out here and get to marching and talking about our country, this, our country, that. This is not our fucking country, bro. It says, for my hope is in for my hope is in the everlasting that he will save you. And joy is come unto me from the Holy One because of the mercy which shall soon come unto you from the everlasting our Savior. See, we're, this is what we're looking forward to. For I sent you out with mourning and weeping, but Yahweh will give you to me again with joy and gladness forever. That's what this is what we're working towards, man. Like as now the neighbors of Zion have seen your captivity. All, all these nations know about our captivity, man. They know about it. Now you got some of these, um, you know, some of these countries, you know, they, they so pissed with America that. 
you know, they'll, they'll mention some of this shit. Well, you, you can't say anything to us about human rights. Look at what you've done to the Native American Indians. Look at what you've done to the blacks. So these countries know, but guess what? They come and they set up in your neighborhood and they, you know, and, and they, they, they sell you cat, rat, and dog, man. They lick the wound, right? It says, like it's, like it's now, the neighbors of Zion have seen your captivity. So shall they see shortly your salvation from, your, from our God, which shall come upon you with great glory and brightness of the everlasting. See, when those chariots cut through the sky, these people are going to be looking like, what the fuck? Oh, shit. They really were the chosen people of the Lord. They, hey, this is not going to be a pretty look for these other nations. It says, my children, suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon you from God. For thine enemy hath persecuted thee, but shortly thou shalt see his destruction and shalt tread upon his neck. <laughs> You're not getting around that, man. This is what we're, we're patiently and prayerfully waiting for. You know that Revelation um, 13 and 10, 9 and 10? It says, he that have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here's the patience and the faith of the saints. Roughly paraphrasing that. Hey, we're, 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 we're patiently um, um, waiting for this, or these things to happen. You're running around out here talking about, well, we're all that. That'll make you no different than the KKK. Well, all right, then, goddamn it. Say what you want to say. You want to continue on with this man on your, with his foot in your goddamn neck forever. You crazy? Y'all better wake your asses up. Baruch 4 and 26. My delicate ones have gone rough away, rough ways and were taken away as flock caught of the enemies. Be of good comfort, O my children, and cry unto Yahweh, for ye shall be remembered of him that brought these things upon you. So the Lord brought these things upon us, man. But it says to cry out to him. That's going off in too long when um, King Solomon, um, he made the prayer, you know, when it, um, dedicating the temple, I think it was, you know. He's like, Lord, wherever they are in captivity, if they turn to the east and crop, you know, basically roughly paraphrasing, they, they turn towards this temple, towards the east, and pray to you, hear them. And that's what's happening, man, in these last days, man. Because the Lord brought these plagues upon us because of disobedience. You know, we had a contract with the Lord. If you read through Deut Deut Deuteronomy chapter 28, it shows you what he would, what, what he would, um, he would do if we were obedient. But he tells you exactly what would happen to us if we're not obedient. These curses would come upon you. He would send our enemies amongst us. That we would go into captivities, man. We've been in multiple ones, but, but this is the last one. So it goes on to say, 4 and 28, Baruch 4 and 28. For as it was your mind to go astray from Yahweh, so being returned, seek him ten times more. So we, hey, we're supposed to be seeking the Lord, man, you know, with great intensity right now. For he that hath brought these plagues upon you shall bring you everlasting joy with your salvation. These are prophet, prophetic things, man. It's about to happen for the children of Israel. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. Take a good heart, O, o Jerusalem. For he that gave thee that name will comfort thee. Miserable are they that afflicted thee and rejoice at thy fall. So these people are miserable. And they're going to be a lot more miserable because the Lord is going to bring a lot more heinous plagues against these clowns, man. We can't wait. Right. Miserable are the cities which thy children serve. Miserable is she that received thy sons. And you think them people, you think them people having a good time in them floods? They're miserable. They've lost a uh, 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 shit that they've had for, you know, for, for, you know, going back to when they stole this goddamn place. They've lost businesses. They don't know what they're going to do. Their lives are shattered, man, from them, them storms. And, it's, and, and the Lord is going to continue plaguing this place, man. Verse 33, Baruch 4 and 33, For as she rejoiced at thy ruin and was glad of thy fall, so shall she be grieved for her own destruction. Because all these nations, man, they, they, they love seeing you jake down, man. They love seeing you in a bad position. They love seeing you running through the neighborhood with your damn pants hanging off your ass. You know, uh, uh, you know, they love seeing you in a fucked up condition, man. They love seeing you uh, 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 doing drive-bys. They love seeing you, 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 uh, uh, you women with your ass cheeks out. 
because they know that as long as they, they they can keep you destroyed, the longer they stay in power. But see, the Lord is coming to change all that up, and He's going to do away with two thirds of our people, man, that don't want to get down. You know, it just is what it is. It's prophetic, man. Verse thirty-four: For I will take away the rejoicing of her multitude, great multitude, and her pride shall be turned into mourning, man. That's this is what you're saying. Go and look at some of those 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 hurricane um those those damn flood videos and see these people boo hooing over over the shit that they done lost. I don't even want to go into it. I mean that's pretty much about the lesson, man. Um, I had like I said, man, it's, it's so much shit going on right now. Let's see. That floods in Nashville, man. It's floods all over this damn place, man. See, the Lord and tore these cities apart, man. Aerial views, drone view. Through, man. Gonna take a long time to come back from shit like that. Hey, that right there, that right there, take the mirth away from your city, man. But guess what? People was watching Monday Night Football like it was nothing. <laughs> Look at this shit, bro. Had to come out there and bolt your ass out. And again, like a lot of these people, man, they stuck in cars, fucking dead. There's people that ain't been found yet. Yeah, man. So the Lord is getting down. So you can clearly see, hey, there's plenty of footage. And you know, you got Esau just doing bad, bro. You know, when Esau be, when it, when it hit, when disaster hits Esau, they don't take it well. And I was watching this one with this damn. Um, Western North Carolina and who you think is in control of a damn dam instead of letting the water just flow the way that the Lord wants it to flow this man he sets up sets up shop you know what I'm saying and 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 and, and, and charge you money for electricity and shit and who you think is doing that the so-called white man why because he's in control that's that Job 9 and 24 the earth is given into the hand of the wicked he covered the, the faces of the judges thereof. If not wearing, who is he? Look at this. Aww. Walking with your damn dog. Yeah, man, we love seeing this. The damn ambulance is underwater. God damn, bro. You know the Lord got down on the asses. Fire trucks is under the water. Go, googly go. Oh, it was mudslides, too. Yeah, man. And, and in the meanwhile, what your boy Joe Biden and Kamala and them doing? They're sending troops over to motherfucking Middle East. Sending your money over to the Middle East. So this place is through, man. And we love it. So with that, no matter of fact, let me end out on that, man. Another one on y'all asses. Gotta love it, man. The water. You gotta thank you, Hell about Shamel Shot, man, for these beautiful things that he's doing in the planet. The average person to see you and, and, and hear something like that and be like, huh? why would you want that disruption? They don't they don't understand judgment. Evil men, you know, understand our judgment, roughly paraphrasing. They don't they don't get that. You should be applauding the work of the Lord. See. Ecclesiasticus, also known as the book of Sirach 25 and 7. There be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy. And a tenth I will utter with my tongue. A man that have joy of his children, and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. And that's what we're witnessing, baby. The fall of our enemies, man. And you dump you doofy ass Jake running around here, you know, talking about how we're all one people. Well, well, why aren't they treating you like you're 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 one of them, really in reality? Come on. Why are they the ones sitting on everything? You're not charging them no water bill, they charging your ass for a water bill. You see, they're not you're not in control of the what they eat. You're not in control of their food. They're in control of what you eat. They're in control of what you wear. They're in control of what your children learn. You don't have to, you're not coming up with no school curriculum talking about, um, well, you know, um, um, this is what we want the, all the children of the U.S. to learn. You're not you don't have no part in that. They writing the curriculum books for your your children. Why? Wow. Sending your doofy ass to work two, three jobs to try, just try and keep that roof over your head. That you got to pay this fucker electricity for. You got to, you know, paying for every goddamn thing. You got to pay some damn car insurance. You need a damn driver's license. You need all these different things just to travel about. I done a lesson yesterday just talking about how, how much it costs 
for you to just get back and forth to work monthly. That's a bill in itself. Car insurance, plates, tabs, gas. That shit right there in itself, man, take a check. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? One of your checks is dedicated to just getting back and forth to this mother, to, to your shit, man. Anyway, with that, I pretty this lesson was at a five form. Y'all should all in a bubble ball.